Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be talking about a product that I received in my June Ipsy subscription and that is this Trust Fund Beauty Nail Polish. I have been testing this as you can see here and I am ready now to talk a little bit about this product. I'm going to talk a bit about the company. I have seen this brand before. I've heard about it anyway. I have a tendency to watch other people's unboxings and unbaggings on YouTube and so I've seen this come in a number of other subscription services before but this is the first time that I have received a product from Trust Fund Beauty. So as I tend to do I'm going to talk about the brand, the company, a little bit then I'm going to talk about this product specifically and then I'm going to give you my opinions and thoughts on the product itself so if you want to skip ahead to a different part of this video there will be timestamps down below in the description so you can do that and let us get into the trust fund beauty conversation so the slogan that seems to be out there when you go and look for trust fund beauty seems to be this we don't care about your inner beauty because we know you got that covered we take your outer beauty very seriously that's our business and you know i actually appreciate this in a way i mean there's a lot of beauty companies that talk about we are here to enhance your inner beauty and inner beauty and all that kind of stuff and it's like yeah but you're a makeup brand <laughs> like it is about the exterior and there is part of beauty and skincare and makeup that also makes us feel good which helps with your inner self but a lot of it is about, you know, colors and what you look like and having fun with presenting yourself. So I think it's a fun little slogan. The products are all vegan and cruelty free and this nail polish, and I think all the nail polishes are also 10 free and it does go on to describe what 10 things this does not have in it that you may not want to have in your nail polish. And also has the slogan, be beautiful, be ethical. So to talk about the founding of this brand a little bit, it was started by a woman named Samara Granovsky and her mother was uh, diagnosed with cancer and unfortunately passed away from it and when she was going through treatment she was going through chemotherapy that left her nails very brittle and yellow. Uh, Samara founded this brand in memory of her mother. Her mother was frustrated that she couldn't find colors and names that were fun. Uh, she wanted there to be a cool fashion forward brand but couldn't find one. So Samara went on to found this company in February of 2014 was when it originally launched. Uh, they started out with nail products. They have also since expanded into some lip products, liquid lipsticks and lip glosses and their head offices are in Montreal. She wants the brand to be ethical, beautiful and sassy at the same time. They have a beautiful range of nail polish colors. They seem to range between $10 to $15, with most of them being on the $15 end. 10 seems to be maybe a few colors that maybe aren't selling that well, uh, but most of them will be around $15, and this one is also $15, uh, and that is in US prices. Even though they are a Canadian company, everything on their website is in US prices. Their liquid lipsticks and lip glosses range between $10 and $22, with most of them being in the $18 to $22 range. Now, I will say this brand seems to be very much targeted at, I want to say, like, young 20s. Uh, you know, there's a lot of sort of play on going out with friends, going out to bars, maybe having a bit too much to drink, uh, fun kinds of things. It just seems to be sort of angled at a younger crowd, but, like, young 20s younger crowd and I found some of the names because the names are all really interesting I found some of them to be fun so there's ones like um stay weird by Felicia skinny jeans major eye roll there's a green one called I kaled it uh there's a shiny one called spring detox and there's a couple that I don't love quite so much I mean I think they're cute but I don't love it when there's sort of things playing off of women sort of being driven by money and uh, there's some names like do you know who my father is or money buys happiness or rich b or just talk to my lawyer um, and the one that I have the most problem with like even those ones I'd be okay to set aside because that's who their target market is is you know these are funny little things to say but there's a white nail polish called Blow, and I just don't really think you need to have references to drugs in your nail polishes, especially when, even though you might be aiming for like a young 20s to mid 20s crowd, you're also probably gonna be getting some teenagers and younger folks who are, you know, getting these products, going looking for nail polishes, and I just think, I don't love that quite so much. But overall, I think this is very cute and very fun what they are doing. I also think, um, there's been a lot of interesting colors 
and like fun names of products around on the market for quite a while. Like I think about like the hard candy polishes and stuff back from when I was uh, younger. <laughs> so I don't think that this is a niche that nobody has been in before, but I do think that, you know, this is very cute. So let's talk about this product specifically. This is how it came packaged, packaged very beautifully. It's, uh, you know, this nice colorful packaging. As I said, if you wanted to buy this, it would retail for $15 uh, American. You buy it through their website. I don't think I saw any references anywhere where you could buy it retail. And this color specifically is called What's a Budget? What's a Budget? It's a very important tool for you to have. I also do a money series as well as beauty product reviews, and you will always find a link to my how to build a strong financial foundation through my Money Honey series in my description bar down below. So I know this is just a fun name about, you know, what's a budget? Spend a lot of money. Budgets are important. <laughs> so on to the actual nail polish. I was super excited when I opened this up because it is like the perfect summertime color. It's just this beautiful, light blue with a touch of green. It's just, it's lovely. And I love the way it looks on my nails. Uh, you get 17 milliliters of product in here. Uh, it is quite a long wand that's in here, which I have seen some people reviews online say that it gives you a little bit less control in painting your nails. I personally am not great at painting my nails and I did not have a problem with it. But I do think it is a stylish little bottle and I do think they have beautiful colors in their line. So let's talk about my experience in and putting this on my nails and what I've been doing and all the rest of it. So when I'm filming this video, it is midday on Thursday. I'm doing some pre-filming because I'm going away. I'll probably be away when you're watching this. Maybe not, but anyway. Uh, I put this nail polish on midday last Sunday and my plan was I was going to wear this and still start it to look like a day where I couldn't wear it anymore. Um, and then I would film to sort of show you like the longevity of it. I don't actually think it looks that bad right now, but I need to get this video filmed today. So what I did is I did this hand, which is my left hand, my non-dominant hand, with just two coats of the polish. No base coat, no top coat, nothing like that, just two coats of the polish. It came out, um, you know, it is opaque, there's no streakiness to it no issues at all. On the other hand, my right hand, my more dominant hand, I thought I would give it a little bit of a better shot. I used a base coat and a top coat. I used the Essence, the gel ones. Um, as an aside here, I really like using the Essence nail polishes. I find that if you use the base coat and the top coat, you get a good amount of wear out of it and they're inexpensive. So I've just been playing around with those and these are the ones I had on hand. So, on hand. Uh, so on my right hand, I did a base coat, two coats of the Trust Fun Beauty nail polish and then a top coat. So I've been wearing this for four straight days and it is still looking like a point where I would still wear it to work, no problem. I'm starting to get a little bit of chipping around just the edges of my nails. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this really. Like it's starting to get to a point where, like I would still wear this to work. There's only one place where it's majorly sort of chipped a little bit on this nail, um, but I think that's the fault of me, not the fault of the nail. That sort of happened on the first day and I think it was because I did something funny when I was painting it there. Um, but they are lasting like crazy. So this seems to be a polish where you could put it on on Sunday and have no problem wearing it through until like the end of the day on the next Friday. So if you wanted to paint your nails for work with this, you could go through the whole week. On a note that doesn't matter to anybody but me, part of the reason I love this for being a perfect summer color is this is actually like the exact color of the pool tile in the pool in my apartment complex. So it just, it feels really summery to me. Um, the other thing I noticed is there is absolutely no difference in wear so far between the side where I did the base coat and the top coat and the side where I just did two coats of the nail polish. And what's cool about that is that it saves time if you just do two coats of the nail polish. I do find the top coat helps it dry a little bit faster because the top coat sets a little bit more, but no problem at all with this after I gave it enough time to dry. And one of the things about not putting the top coat and stuff on is if it got to the end of the day today and I was looking at it going like, it's okay for tomorrow, but there's a couple little chips and stuff in it, 
I could just touch up those areas again because I'm just sort of doing polish on top of polish and then I'd be fine for the next day to go. So when I first got this, I sort of thought, eh, you know, nail polish is nail polish. I'm not a huge nail polish person. I don't spend a lot on it and that kind of thing. But I do think that for how pretty these colors are and how great it seems to be lasting with just two coats and I have been difficult on these. I have been washing dishes, I have been going swimming, I have been you know doing cleaning around the house, all that kind of thing. I have been lifting weights, I've been doing all kinds of stuff and I have not been trying to be you know gentle with them or anything and they are holding in awesomely. So my review for this is I'm giving Trust Fun Beauty nail polish a thumbs up. Now I will say I do believe they have different finishes and things like that. There's some glitters, there's some different ones. So this is specifically about, you know, this color and this finish. Um, but I do think it's good. And I look through and they have some beautiful colors, some holographic stuff, all just beautiful colors. So if, you know, you are looking for a nail polish that is not going to break the bank, it holds in well, you know, you can get a great selection of colors, you might want to take a look at Trust Fun Beauty. That is the review for today. I do hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe give it a thumbs up. If you also received this or have tried other Trust Fun Beauty products, leave them in the comments down below. I respond to every comment that I get. If you have not yet subscribed but you would like to, you can click on my face. Let's make it appear on this side this time, which is totally different than usual. And I will link to an old video on this side if you want to go and watch one. So that is all for today. I hope you enjoy this and I will look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye!